Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm just filming some videos. It's Monday morning if you're wondering why I'm here set up all fancy, but I just filmed something and then I filmed a current favorite foundations for oily skin so stay tuned for that if it's not already up on my lips I'm wearing one of the new MAC powder kiss lipsticks this one is in the shade style shocked with the color uh, pop BFF 3 lip liner love an orange lip um, but yeah this week kind of dreading this week honestly um, on Wednesday I'm going to the dentist and I have a huge fear of the dentist and then also this week I'm just nervous thinking about it I'm doing the CN Tower edge walk which basically means you go to the top of the CN Tower, which is like very high and walk on the edge of it. This is like something Smashbox invited me to do, which I'm like, I don't want to do it, but I feel like I should do it, you know, but also I don't want to die. But Nems comes home in a few hours, so I'm probably going to go meet him at the airport and surprise him. Uh, and then I'm going to do some meal prepping today, too, so that he has all his meals for the week because he's coming back and he's going to be so busy with work. Um, and I need to do my own meal prepping anyway, so I'll do our meal prepping this week. So annoyed with myself. Uh, I talked about it in my last vlog, but when Nems was gone, I tried so hard to like stay on track and blah, blah, blah. And I hit my weight goal and I was so excited and I was doing so well and I wasn't like binging on takeout like I've done in the past when he's been gone. And then I ordered Popeyes twice in 24 hours. I don't know what happened. Even when it was like being delivered here, I was like, you're gonna regret this. And it's not the worst thing in the world, like treat yourself, yes, but I didn't need to. It was like I just felt compelled to do it for some dumb reason. Anyways, back on track today. Gonna have that pizza now for lunch. I'm quite hungry. Just been editing. Listening to Sword and Steel podcast. Some of you recommended it to me and I like it a lot. It's very, very interesting. I like the subject matter. The only thing I don't like is that they like try to creep you out and make it like for me, I don't like necessarily, not that I don't like, but I just don't prefer spooky things. You know what I mean? Like. I like more the human side of those kind of things like I'm not trying to like creep myself out um, but I do like it and I recommend it if you have yet to try it but anyways I am starving so I'm gonna make a pizza for lunch and then I'm gonna meal prep So meal prepping is complete. This took me a little bit longer than normal because I had to cook the shrimp, chicken, and beef all in the same pan. I don't recommend that. I always recommend having like a stovetop recipe, an oven recipe, and a crock pot recipe, but didn't work out that way this week. <laughs> um, this meal here is for my boyfriend. It's just pasta and shrimp and broccoli, and then he puts Parmesan cheese on it. I cut up a cantaloupe to eat during the week. This is the fish taco sauce that I made last week I added a little less adobo no jalapeno and I used Greek yogurt instead of mayo this time so it's a little less spicy and more cilantro-y as I had intended last week and then this is chicken pot pie so I talk about portion control a lot and I think it's important to keep in mind like my boyfriend and I I'm trying to lose weight he's not trying to lose weight and a lot of the time we'll eat the same meal we'll just be a different portion so there's his his there's mine um, and then I have mine with um, these little Pillsbury biscuits he has his with a bagel because he prefers more carb so um, this is everything oh and I made chili too hello I'm gonna go pick up Nems from the airport I have a bad headache and I don't really feel like going honestly and when I say pick up I mean like take a train to the airport <laughs> because obviously I don't have a car um, but it's one of those things that it's kind of when I felt really like an adult when you arrive at the airport and there's like no one there to pick you up, you know? I guess if you have a car, your boyfriend or girlfriend will come pick you up, but like, anyways. But it's nice to have somebody there when you arrive and I miss him and I wanna go see him. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, it's me. Guess who's home? Get, it's me. Hey, it's me. Look! Hey, what's up? It's hey, it's dead. Me. You know I mean? I'm the stream man. Always the dead. How's it going? How's everything? She said I missed you. Good now? 
Hello, I'm getting ready to head out the door to go to two different events and I match my pillows. Um, but I'm heading to Mix Beauty Lab. They, I've never been there before and they invited me to come in. They're having an event and you can like make your own foundation and lipstick and lip gloss. So that should be fun. And then I'm heading to a body shop holiday event and I filmed this morning. I was editing last week's vlog and I talk far too much. So I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I will see you at Mix. Hey guys, good morning. I am just getting ready for the day. I'm heading to an event shortly and then the dentist. And I'm so nervous about going to the dentist. I'm just trying to ignore it. I just loaded up some podcasts. Actually speaking of, I have been listening to Sword and Steel continued and I know I said I wasn't really loving it, but now I actually, I think I really like it now. I think it was just the first case where they were really trying to like spook you out that I wasn't that into. But then the following cases were amazing. And then I just listened to another, which I thought was okay. So, but the ones that I really loved, I really love. So I think it's maybe the kind of podcast that I won't love every episode, like some others that I've listened to, because they do kind of, every episode is a little bit different. It doesn't all follow the same format, which also makes it super interesting. So I've been liking that. But what I wanted to do this morning was test out the Mix Beauty Lab foundation that was custom made for me yesterday. It's probably a bad idea because I'm going to an event and hopefully it doesn't all fall apart on my face, but I am curious to try it. And I was testing out another foundation yesterday, so I couldn't like really make sure it was a good match. And I've never been matched properly at a beauty event ever. They always match me so much darker. So we'll see what happens. And then I also created two lip products and anybody can go to Mix Beauty Lab. Uh, I'll, I'll li list them down below so you can check out their rates and pricing and everything. But the one thing I noticed that was different in comparison to like the Bite Beauty Lab is that you actually get to mix things up yourself, which is pretty fun. Uh, so that's the lipstick I created. I was going for like a rusty peachy, rusty peachy orange, I think was what I had described. And then for the lip gloss, it probably doesn't even look like much, but... I wanted it just to be something easy that I could throw on. It really wants to focus on my face, but that is the lip gloss that I created. And of course, depending on your skin type, what you want, um, they have all different types of mixers to add in things like SPF, uh, make it more dewy, more matte, more of a light coverage, more full coverage. I said I wanted medium and natural coverage, but still like oil controlling. And I did no SPF just because I generally wear an SPF anyways, and I didn't want it to like mess with the foundation. So let's see how this goes. It seems pretty light coverage at first, but I am using the sponge, but it was super fun. It'd be fun for like a, a girl's day or something. And they sell some interesting skincare there too, some brands that are a little bit harder to get. But the thing about this is like, if you were to go in yourself, you would have a totally different experience than what I did and would have a totally different outcome with the foundation because obviously your formulation is gonna be different than mine. I think a beauty blender wasn't a great choice, maybe of application. I feel like fingers might have been better, but then it also oxidized. So it kind of looks a little bit muddy on my skin, unfortunately. It's like I can really see something here around my neck. And then when I look in the mirror, I don't really see it. But I like the finish, it looks super natural. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then see how this goes. So, I was kind of thinking it looked okay, but you can see how much it oxidized. Like, I brought it down my neck, 
And then look at this over here. I don't understand. The camera's really highlighting it. And it doesn't look like this as bad in person. But you can still see it like when I look up really close in person. But unfortunately, I don't think this is going to work for me. But again, like I said, everyone's going to have a different experience. This, this didn't work for me. But the lip, I love. Highly recommend going there for the lip and the lip gloss. Because this lipstick I absolutely love. There's no lip liner or anything. But unfortunately, the foundation so far doesn't work. So I'm just back from the event and the dentist. Ding! Um, I got to the event and I have oily skin, but I also have a very sweaty face. So by the time I got to the event, I could feel my face was so sweaty and I felt like the foundation was just dripping off my skin. So I just felt like so uncomfortable and the room was obviously so well lit and bright and I had to go around and like talk to people at each booth and I could just feel my face like like just being so oily. So then I walked into the bathroom to try and blot my face and there was a guy on the toilet and that was horrible. So I had to run out. I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. And then I went to the dentist and um, that wasn't so bad. I just had a cleaning. I didn't have any cavities or anything. I had my first cavity a year and a half ago, um, but they were really, really good. It's called um, Mercer Street Dentistry and um, this is my second time going to them now and I really like them. They're so, so nice and they know I'm really, really nervous and they take that into account, which I really appreciate. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's exciting. And also the uh, woman at the front desk, her son's girlfriend watches my YouTube channel. So if you're watching, hello, I left you a lipstick at the front desk. Now we would remove my makeup together. Um, I just got this at the event. It's the Rodeo Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm. So it's to help remove makeup <clears throat> dissolve makeup nourish skin boost radiance hydrate the skin and you know how much i love a cleansing balm i have a favorite makeup remover video coming that i actually filmed over a month ago now but because i've had so many other videos that were like more timely important like things that were new products and stuff those have all gone up so if that video is up i will link it down below but let's try this balm here i just love bombs because they're so satisfying just to be able to rub it all over your face. I'm going to talk more about that foundation, but, but I hate to say that I don't like it. I really wanted to like it and maybe I just need to play with it some more, but I do recommend you go see them for the lip, lip stuff because I love my lipstick that I created. Removed all my makeup super easily. I'm going to try this. Um, it's the Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer for dull, grumpy skin. Um, I got this yesterday at the Body Shop event and it has that beautiful gel cream texture and last night i tried out some more body shop stuff the ethiopian honey deep nourishing mask i put that on for like 10 minutes and then i put on this um tea tree anti-perfection night mask this felt really drying um so if you don't have crazy oily skin i would not use that but i feel like it's the kind of thing i can use like once a week maybe i like that a lot okay time to go eat lunch gonna focus on her I don't think. Are you cuddling with mom? Good morning. I am just getting ready to head out the door to go to an Estee Lauder holiday preview. And then later this afternoon, Nems and I are going to do the CN Tower edge walk. I woke up at 3.30 this morning because I kept having dreams about it. And I'm terrified. I have this horrible, nervous feeling in my stomach. And, uh, but I think it's, it's gonna be fun and I'm gonna be so glad we did it. Um, it's with Smashbox so it's like part of their Better Together campaign so I'm wearing the Smashbox foundation. Obviously I reviewed that um, last year during 12 days of foundation but anyways that's the plan for the day and then tonight I'm going with Steph slash Glamzilla to go to the Good Mythical Morning tour of mythicality so that's exciting because I love their YouTube channel but I'm also nervous about that because I'm afraid that I'm not gonna like it and then I'm afraid that I'm not gonna want to watch them and I watch them every morning. But anyways, a lot of fears today, <laughs> but uh, let's head to the event.
Okay, it is now almost time to go. I basically stayed at the Estee Lauder event for probably 15 minutes because I was feeling so stressed out. I like couldn't even talk to anybody. Switched up my lip and put on a Smashbox lip stepping out. I think that's an appropriately named lipstick. Also, um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, I got home from the event and stress ate a bunch of arrowroot crackers. How are you feeling, bub? Are you dressed? Oh, I'm feeling good. Are you dressed? Feeling, uh, optimistic. Feeling optimistic. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, come on. <laughs> I don't feel okay at all. I'm so nervous. We gotta push ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Life is about that, overcoming obstacles, right? Yeah, but do you need to add obstacles to your life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going. Here we are. Is this how Jake and Logan Paul feel we're all going, the we're time? We're going, we're going. What's up, Logan? What's up, gang? Him and Erica Costell broke up, I saw. Yeah. Ever since watching that Shane Dawson series I've had. I'm Erica Costell. And remember that other song I told you about? Um, Which one? Six Figures I Was Only oh, Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to avoid that series, but I couldn't anyways. I'm very scared. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. It's gonna be okay, man. I'm just doing it for you. I'm doing it for the vlog. I don't wanna do this at all. You're doing it for the views. I'm doing it for the views. You better all watch this. Yeah. Is that all done already? Yeah. Is it November or what, 9th? 8th. Doing more than 75 pounds, I guess I can't do it. Probably gonna be blown away or something. <laughs> Shouldn't have lost that 20 pounds. <laughs> I know, right? You're yeah, dangerously close to 75 pounds. It's a right behind. Come on up, Naria. You got it right to your left here. Perfect. You got it. Come on up, Smith. You got it. You got this. There you go. We're just going for a little walk. There you go. Here you got it. Fantastic. Awesome, ma'am. You got it. Come on around this way. Perfect. All right, everyone's out there. Right, see you later. Yeah. Awesome. Do you guys want to go for a walk with me? Yeah. All right, come on. All right, so the first activity we're going to try today, guys, is called Toes Over Toronto. And it's exactly that. So when it's your turn, there you go, Nam. Awesome. Little steps is the key. Nice. There you go. Can you let go of that rope for us, Nam? All right. Nicely done, man. Nicely done. How do you feel? Speechless. All right. Come on back, Nam. Nicely done. Samantha, come on up, as close as you feel comfortable. If you're happy there, that's okay too. Just come up, just remember, if you stand up nice and straight, nobody's gonna push you, right? You got it. I'm crying, but like I'm okay. Yeah, all right. You're still smiling, so I'm not worried about you. Just can't control it. There you go, you're doing fantastic. There's five, awesome, I'll take that. Can you let go? All right, nicely done, nicely done, that's awesome. All right, Samantha, you wanna give it a try? Let's take it step by step, same way. Let's try just sitting down first. That's the hardest part, I promise. Good, I'm here if you want. It's all the way down. There you go, yeah, keep going, you're doing great. Perfect, there you go. Feet out in front of you this way. Yeah, it's gotcha. So bring your toes all the way up to meet my toes. You got it. I want you to try giving the other hand. You got it. Do you see that? It's got you, right? Yeah. Take a breath. You're doing fantastic. You wanna give it a try? Okay. You got it, here you go. Hold on that rope. Go ahead and walk yourself back. I'll let you know when you get there. Keep looking up here, okay? I'm not gonna let you walk Can up the edge. I get my picture and then come back in? <laughs> I don't want to stay. You don't have to stay if you don't want to. There you go. Keep going, you're doing fantastic. Look at this. There you go, you're almost there. Tiny bit more. Perfect, push those heels down, that's it. Straighten your legs. Keep this arm relaxed, it's got you. There you go, you're good there, Nam, stay there. There you go, nice and straight. Look up here, look up here. You got it, there you go. Give me a quick double high five. There you go. You okay? Yeah. You wanna come back? You wanna stay? Yeah. There you go. So I like, now I'm just trying to straighten your legs. It's safer for you if you lock oh, out those knees. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So we will do this again later for photos and stuff what? like that. Yeah. For now, I think you guys are doing fantastic. I think you got the hang of it. What do you guys think we might try now? Anyone do their homework? Yeah, we're gonna lean forwards, yeah. Samantha, you wanna give this one a try? Is that a no, but yes, you're gonna do it anyway? I mean, no pressure, but. It's my motto for today. All right. Awesome, come on up to that second line. If you go from there, you're gonna lean over too far. So come up one more little step, one more little step. There you go, push that rope out, look at the horizon. And then lower your shoulder out to that horizon. 
There you go. Try to bring your hips forward with you. I can't do it. That's all right. It's not bad. All right. Good effort. Good effort. That's great. Awesome. I don't know if you know this, but you just broke a Guinness World Record. This is the highest external hands-free walk on a building in the entire world. And you just did it. So give yourself a round of applause. Nicely done. Not bad for a Thursday, right? Yeah, good luck with the rest of the week. I don't know. <laughs> did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Well, unfortunately, guys, it's time. We got to go. So come on this way. As you go back inside, please make sure you're holding on to your rope. Lay down. Right on, Sam. Nicely done. Yeah, man. Awesome. Alrighty, guys. That is the Edge Walk on top of the Sea Tower in Toronto. My name is Justin. It was an absolute pleasure. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again soon here at the top of the world. See ya. We made it. Good job. <laughs> That was a lot, man. Yeah. I cried. As soon as we stepped out, I started crying. And cried for like the first 10 minutes, probably. Yeah. Laughed, cried. We're gonna go get our pictures and stuff now. I couldn't do all the tasks. Yeah, there were four tasks. I'm glad you did it. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. Okay, so we are back and um, I gotta say, my makeup held up really well. Wearing the Smashbox Studio Fix, or sorry, Studio Skin Foundation, um, the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray, and I was just on the tallest building in Canada, one of the tallest buildings in the world. Yeah. And I was crying. As soon as I stepped out, the tears started flowing, and there's gonna be a video, which you would have already seen some of that. Um, I would definitely recommend you do it. Uh, they do what's called like activities, so it's like lean over the front and da 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 da. I did the lean over the lean backwards, um, but even just for the view, I think it's incredibly beautiful, especially if you were to do it in the summertime. Um, but yeah, I was just like filled with emotions and started crying. Um, but it was cool, and I'm so glad I did it. But I was so nervous today and yesterday. Like I said, I didn't sleep all night. I kept waking up with thoughts of me leaning backwards over the side of it and it was just, oh my god. And I don't think you've seen Rue very much. Hi, pee, pee She's exactly where we left her. Hi, pee, -pee. Oh. And now we're gonna watch our video. Huh? Now let's watch our video. Yeah, do we have it? No? They said they were gonna email it to us within 30 minutes. Oh, okay. And then tonight I'm going to the GMM Mythical Tour. But I won't be able to video there, day. so I think I'm gonna, yeah, what a day. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I can't top walking on top of a building. Oh, they made me take out all my bobby pins. I was like, you're gonna make me take out all my bobby pins and go Did walk you get somewhere them back? Windy? Yeah, but that's the point. I mean, like, look at this hair. These things don't hold together without bobby pins. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna watch our video now, and uh, that is it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you would do that. I didn't think I would, but I did, even though I cried the whole way through. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Ah! Twitter? No! You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. At Samantha Jane YT. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's close.